I grew up in suburban New York and I had the opportunity in high school to see the movie 2001 and that inspired me to sort of look at parallels between computers and brains. So at Princeton I was able to create my own major which we called cybernetics that combined electrical engineering, mathematics, psychology and uh, philosophy to sort of get the underpinnings of an evolving science looking at parallels between computers and brains. I then went to University of Michigan in an interdisciplinary graduate program in computer science and uh, a friend of mine who was working in industry said uh, why don't you go work in industry for a while if you want to understand how organizations work go out and get involved in organizations. So I spent the summer working for Panasonic Electronics, living in the company dormitory, singing the company song, reciting the company's seven principles, and I was completely stunned by the differences and decided that I really wanted to study how to make organizations more effective. Ever since I realized that I really wanted to try to turn out people who have real core convictions and gear them up to take action in the world, I've innovated like crazy in the way I teach. And I'm very proud of the transformative experience I've been able to create in a classroom environment, working with people from all over the world, getting people to sort of discover their core mission, and then teaching them things that I learned from my Wall Street experience and Accenture experience to make them ready for the dynamics of action in the business world. One of the great privileges is teaching at American University where I get students literally from all over the world. So for example, in my global entrepreneurship course, class fills up 35 people, typically 18 different nationalities in the class. Ecuador, Bolivia, Brazil, Mexico, France, Germany, uh, uh, Ukraine, Russia, uh, Kuwait, uh, UAE, uh, Bahrain, uh, India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, Japan, Korea. So we have the whole world in the class. It's really quite amazing. And so I like to think of my classroom as like a laboratory. I feel particularly pleased and proud of these students who I've worked with over the years. And I hope that the things that they learned about themselves and this competence they developed when they worked with me has life lasting uh, impacts. And I also hope that the other people who've chosen the teaching profession could benefit from using some of the new methods that I've developed that I really do think propel people uh, through you know, many years of experience. I'm also very proud of some conceptual frameworks that I've developed that help bring the world together. So I look at international business and I was very confused my first exposure to Japan and I set upon myself the task of trying to clarify differences and similarities between Americans and Japanese in a cool chart and then come up with a framework so that people can systematically migrate to the other culture and sort of form hybrid cultures in between. So I've looked at maybe conceptual frameworks that make it people find an easier job dealing with the challenges of international relations. Uh, it's very clear that I was given a wonderful opportunity as a business professor to act on my personal mission uh, in a day-to-day -day job and to help people find their things. One of the greatest pleasures I have now as a fellow who's been in management education for 30-some years is seeing what's happened to my former students and the kind of roles they've come to play in this country and in countries all over the world. I feel personally connected to the business community and therefore increasingly the government communities of countries all over the world. It's a real pleasure. Well, I'm very proud of my loving family and I've learned from uh, my ancestors how important family is in life and I'm glad that I have uh, a great uh, spouse and four children. One of the uh, most memorable experiences in my life early in this uh, human potential course was to come here at the footsteps of the Jefferson Memorial and f release balloons into the atmosphere to fly off and to think that these are people who you touch with your teachings and then fly off into the world and have an impact following their own destiny. And it's very nice to be here at the Jefferson Memorial. Here's a man who devoted himself to overcoming tyranny 
and to creating space so people can pursue life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I feel that uh, I try to create an environment in my classroom experience that gives people a chance to discover that about themselves, gear up for taking action, and then move ahead. If I were to summarize my life's work at this point, it's to try to find simplicity in life, to find simple ways of describing complex experiences that I've had or uh, complex ideas and make it available so that everybody can get it. Uh, Sandelson, the economist, once said, you don't really understand eco economics unless you can explain it to your grandmother. I feel that same way in, in all the things I deal with. I want to get things nice and simple and a clear chart or a clear analog in teaching so that people learn what maybe would require a decade or two or three decades of experience to fully learn on their own. If I can somehow map it into a classroom experience or map it into a conceptual framework, then people can sort of walk off with this and be beyond their years. Well, I really respect Thomas Jefferson because as a designer, he looked at how to create conditions in society that lets the human spirit evolve. Uh, another person who's always inspired me has been Leonard Bernstein, who is a master at organizing the collective contributions of the different instrumentalists in an orchestra, and he does it with such passion, such drama, and, and in a very memorable way. So I would say the, the two of them are my most important heroes. The tradition is to plant a tree when a, a child is born, and watch it grow and it becomes the symbol in old age of uh, a life long lived. And I guess I hope that the things I've done will have a positive impact on the world. I'd like to be remembered as a loving, independent, creative person who poured his heart into trying to develop the people I've worked with and to come up with frameworks that help make the world better.